Hello Cancer and welcome back to my channel and this is your January reading from Anything Spiritual and your first card out, the Tower card. Now the Tower card is about the lightning coming along and striking something that you had built up, you know, your foundations, your structure and everything around you seems to come crashing down. So in January, you will perhaps have a moment. You feel that there's a tower moment where something you thought was safe and strong, had been built up, had good foundations, may not turn out to be so strong, may not turn out to be that safe structure that you thought it was. Remember, draw on the energy around you to give you strength. You've got the Seven of Wands cards there. Sevens are about needing a new approach, having to look at things differently. And all the colours of the chakras are all going towards her there. It's telling you that there will be opportunities. There will be choices. You do need inner strength, though. You may have to make decisions. And next to the Seven of Wands, you've got the Six of Wands. Being at the front, being in the limelight. So I think that's telling you that here, with this Seven of Wands, and needing the new approach, needing the energy of those chakra colours, needing strength, because you're the one, Cancer, that's at the forefront of it all. You're the one in the front of that stage. You're the one in front of everybody. You're the one dealing with this. So you're the one that's going to need to pull on that inner strength. And we've got the Queen of Cups out. That's you, a water sign cancer. And look at her using the energy around her. This is a big message from the universe telling you that when everything falls down around you when it feels like everything is going wrong don't forget who you are you are an energy being you have the power inside you to heal you have such power inside you and don't forget that you are connected to everything around you and everyone and to the universe don't forget who you are and don't forget to call on that for strength. Do some guided meditations to balance your chakras and help that energy flow. Cards are flying out all over. The next one out is the four of ones. You will need to balance things down. As things are happening in January and you're making decisions and you're at the front there dealing with it all, you will need to balance that energy and that's perhaps what the Queen of Cups is doing. Moving that energy around, balancing it. And the Four of Wands. Structure. Again, balance. Calming things down, settling things down. It's like things are going to go up in the air in January and then... When everything goes up in the air, one thing has to happen, Cancer. When everything goes up in the air, everything has to come back down again. So remember that when things are not good, that it does have to come back down again. It can't stay up in the air. You know, law of gravity. So when things go up in the air, things will come back down again and balance. And look at your next card out. Justice, balance. So things will be upside down just for a little bit in January because this second row is showing the balance. So this won't last for long. Whatever happens in January, whatever rocks your foundations, whatever that lightning strikes, you will have to sort it out. You will have to be the one pulling on your strength, using that energy around you. 
using your inner strength, using the strength of those people around you, because you're going to be the one having to deal with it, Cancer. But then in comes the balance. In comes the justice. In comes those scales, balancing out again. The Six of Pentacles, your next card out, changes. Whenever changes happen, stability comes in. There's money changing hands in this card. Things going one way, things going the other way. To in and fro in. And again, chucking things up in the air. You've got that eight card. That infinity sign in this card. Feel like you're going round and round on a loop. But, you know, things do have to come to an end sometimes. And it will balance. Again, it's telling you, you will feel... You know, you've had this to in and fro in. You've had everything up in the air. But when everything goes up, it has to come down. It has to settle. And it will settle by the end of January. You'll be settled again. And you've got that King of Cups. So the King of Cups, he can be someone who, he can be reliable, he can be quiet, he can keep himself to himself. It can be somebody that you wouldn't want to argue with. It can be somebody that can, can get a little bit nasty. This King of Cups can be the person that you're dealing with. Or it could be um, you having enough of the situation and having to put your foot down in some places. But again, it shows him with his hand in this bowl. It shows him sorting this out. And it may be that you need... To listen to someone or have help or support because remember we talked about strength further on in this reading and now we got balance and with the balance in comes this king of cups this could be somebody helping you this could be a gentleman remember cup sign water sign cancer scorpio pisces so if this is not you putting your foot down and using that strength then it's somebody that's helping you but strength is definitely a big message in this reading. Strength, support, balance. It's all there, Cancer. So January starts off your year by the looks of it. With something to sort, something to get into, something that you're not going to be able to avoid. It's going to happen. It's in the cards, it's, it's, you know, it's a universal thing here, it's going to happen. And this is a guardian angel message and you've got go within. And your guardian angels are saying you are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside of you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. This could be linked to where you have to make decisions. Where you have choices, where things are happening. And you could perhaps be feeling a bit lost. And it's asking you to go within yourself. And we said here with the Queen of Cups that she was using the energy around her. And this is what you need to do. Listen to your intuition. It seems like this is going to happen anyway, Cancer. It's kind of out of your control. But you may just want some answers of how to move forward, how to deal with it, how to cope with it. So don't forget to go within. Meditation, prayer. Remember these are general readings and they will resonate with people in different ways. So we'll pull a couple of love and relationship cards. Your year ahead for 2024 is already out, so if you haven't already watched that, don't forget to have a look at that. And in the description below, I'll put a link to my sister's channel, Mind's Eye and Inspiration. She also releases monthly videos. So Cancer, what's going to happen with your love life? Like we said, these are general. This could be to do with family, friends, work. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. For some of you, there could be wedding. But weddings and marriage are all about commitment. So the commitment part of your relationship is going to be strong in January. 
looks like you're going to need to be holding on to each other and showing that commitment, showing what you will do for the other person and let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's kind of like accepting that certain things are going to happen and allow those things to happen. You can't control this. We said with this tower moment, whatever happens, it's all you're left to deal with, Cancer, is the kind of aftermath of it all and trying to calm and balance and bring everything back into place again. So for those of you in a relationship, it may be that your commitment to each other will be tested in January and you just have to go with the flow. For those of you single, it may be that you're not ready to be with somebody else yet because you want to be in control of your life. You don't want somebody else in your life um, you know, sort of telling you what to do or making any kind of decisions or you just don't feel ready to share your life right now. So Cancer, I hope this reading has made sense to you. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if this has resonated with you. Also, you know, don't panic about this tower moment. Sometimes it may be changes in your life that are necessary, changes that when the balance comes in, you'll be happy that it happened. Remember, these are different for everybody. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.